On today's episode of the Piedmont Motion Picture Show, I'm talking about how to create your own custom fonts for your videos and how to implement them within Premiere Pro. And that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan here with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time joining us, this channel is all about learning and growing as a filmmaker. So if you haven't already, please hit that like button and please subscribe, click the bell notification, and let's become better filmmakers together. Some of you may know that I am currently working on my next passion project, and it's a mini documentary about a local historic music venue here in the area where I live called the Somewhere Else Tavern. This place has been hosting original music for over 39 years, and it's been a place where tons of local bands, including ones that I was a part of, have been able to go and share their music with the community. This place really means a lot to me, and I really wanted to honor the spirit of artistic freedom that the Somewhere Else Tavern embodies. And one of the ways that I wanted to do that in the film was to create my own custom fonts for every part of the video. I wanted to hand draw my own fonts. Well, today I'm gonna to take you through the process that I use to do that in this film. While I'm not the greatest artist in the world, that's really not the point. I really wanted to give it a sense of rustic originality, which I think a hand-drawn font would do. So I'm gonna take you through the process of drawing them, sending them to my computer, getting them ready for Premiere in Photoshop, and then we'll take a look at the different ways you can animate them and really take it to the next level if you're wanting to put in the time. So let's jump right into it. Today we're creating our own hand-drawn fonts or graphics for our videos. Some of this may be common knowledge to a lot of you out there, but I figured there would be some people that would find this really useful. Of course, since this is based on your own artistic ability, results may vary. I'm sure there are many ways to go about doing this, but these are the methods that have worked best for me. Depending on whether or not you want your fonts and graphics to actually draw out or write on the screen in front of your viewer's eyes, or if you just want them to be static graphics to overlay on your video images, there are three ways you can go about doing this. If you don't want to retain the animation of you actually drawing the fonts or images, you can draw them on a plain sheet of paper with a black Sharpie marker. If you do want to retain the actual animation of you drawing them, you can use a tablet with pen like the iPen and iPad, or you can use my preferred method and draw them using a Wacom tablet. Keep in mind that all three of these methods will work if you don't plan to have your fonts write themselves out on the screen. If you're not going to animate them at all, or maybe just animate them later in Premiere or After Effects, drawing them out on a piece of paper is very simple. Draw out your words or image, then you'll need to get the image to your computer. I use an app called Cam Scanner on my iPhone that does an awesome job of scanning any image using your phone's camera. It gives you a nice, clean black and white image which you can then email or text to yourself. Once you have the image on your computer, pull up Photoshop on your photo editing program of choice. I use Photoshop, so the next steps will relate mostly to that program. Invert the colors of the image so that the text is white and the background is black. You can either import this image straight to your video as a JPEG, or you can delete the background entirely and save the file as a PNG file. If you're going to do that, make sure that the layer you're working on is a layer and not a background layer. If you need to change it, right click on the layer in the layer window and choose Layer from Background. Use the magic wand selector to select the black background from your image and delete it. Be sure to clean up any remaining black from the image using the magic wand, or you can use the eraser to clean it up as well. Then you can save it as a PNG file with a transparent background. Depending on what method you use, this image is now ready to bring into Premiere and use on your videos. Once the image is imported and you're on your timeline, you can play around with how it appears by going into the effects controls panel, changing the blend mode, opacity, and you can use effects like turbulent displays to give it life. Or you can use simple position and scale keyframes to animate it. To create a hand-drawn text or image effect, you can use a tablet and pen to capture the actual motions of you creating the font or image. On an iPad or Wacom tablet, you can either bring up the screen record feature or use QuickTime Video to record your computer screen and draw your image with white on a black background. You can also use various brush textures and sizes to get the look you want. Once you're done, export the video capture of you drawing to your computer. Import it into Premiere and bring the video into your timeline. You can set the blending mode to screen to remove the black background. 
and mask around the image if you need to clean it up. Now you can time ramp the video to speed up the drawing effect to the desired look. If you need to make the image look as if it's going away, just reverse the video. You can use this method to create all sorts of hand-drawn animations for your videos. The only limit is your creativity. Question of the day, have you ever created your own custom font? If so, let us know your process and how you did it in the comments below. Be sure to check out our digital store. We've got a new product for you to get your hands on. It's our Filmic LUT Pack Volume 2. It's got over 30 LUTs that you can use to color grade your log or flat footage that you capture with Filmic Pro and your mobile device. If you pick it up, you'll be supporting the channel and everything that we do here. So if you do, thank you very much. Be sure to check out the Piedmont Motion Picture Patreon page. Uh, not only can you support the channel through Patreon, but I'm constantly posting behind the scenes looks at some of the videos I'm doing. And especially right now with uh, this passion project for Somewhere Else Tavern, you can see a lot of the screen grabs and a lot of the process that goes into making that film. And we also post uh, most of our short films exclusively to the Patreon page about a month before everyone else gets them. My mini doc, You Are Loved Somewhere Else, will be premiering on the channel February 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This is going to be the very first video that I've ever premiered on the channel. So mark your calendars and be sure to come hang out with us when that debuts. It should be a lot of fun. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Piedmont Motion. Uh, I really need a lot more followers on there, so do me a solid. Thank you so much for joining me on this filmmaking journey. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.